This video will demonstrate how to convert geographic points in a CSV file to a shape file. The data being used for this demonstration are storm event locations in the contiguous U.S. as recorded by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration during January 2020. Geographic points from a CSV file can be converted to locations on a map. If the geographic points are saved in a table, such as a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet file, that file must first be saved as a CSV file. The coordinate values in the CSV file must be based on a real-world coordinate system, such as latitude-longitude or UTM meters. First, we need to import the CSV file into ArcGIS Pro. To do so, we want to go to the, over to the catalog pane. We can expand databases and we see our geo database for this project. If we right click on that, we get a menu and we can select import and then click on table. For input rows, we want to click on the browse button and browse to the location of that CSV file and click on that and then click OK. The output location should default to the geo database for the, the current project and for the output name I will call this storm events Jan 2020 and then I can click run and we can see that the uh, table has been loaded here it's a standalone table as we can tell from the contents pane if we right click on this and open that table, just take a quick look at it. It looks just like an attribute table will for um, layers, data that we would load into ArcGIS Pro. Importantly though, uh, we want to see where our coordinates are and sees, we see that we've got uh, latitude and longitude coordinates here. And so we are gonna use those coordinates to create point data for uh, for display on a map. So let me close this table and in order to convert those coordinates into points uh, click the back button on the geoprocessing pane there and uh, in in the the search field there we want to look for a tool called XY table to point so I start typing it in we see that it's appeared here at the top so I'll click on that to open it up input table we're going to select our storm events table that we imported. The output feature class uh, auto populates a name. I'm going to just change that slightly and add points at the end. For the XY field, uh, these correctly um, auto populated based on um, attributes from that table. If they do not you'll want to use the, the drop-down menu to select um, the appropriate attribute for, these, for the X field and the Y field. And then another important thing that we want to make sure to do is to set an appropriate coordinate system for the output. Now, since I know that the National Atmosphere National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration uses the National Spatial Reference System for their data. I'm going to use that um, for as a uh, geographic coordinate system. So you, uh, you might have options that you want to use that you can select from the drop down menu. If not, we can just select on the button here to uh, select our coordinate system and we can search for them um, as as we normally would um, but i am going i actually have this the national S uh, spatial reference system of 2007 already saved as a favorite so i'm going to click on that and click ok and then i will click run and we can see here now on the map that we have points that have appeared. Now I'm going to turn on a base map just to give these points a little bit of geographic context. We can indeed see that uh, there were some storms in California, some that were in the, the upper Midwest, but most of them were in the southeastern um, U.S. here. Now we can 
Um, I'm going to switch back over to the catalog pane and if we look at our geodatabase we can see that we've uh, in that geodatabase we both have the standalone table that we imported we now have a our uh, newly created uh, point data that's stored as a feature class here if we open up the attribute table from the contents pane for the storm events points layer we can uh, see that all of those um, all of that data that was stored in the standalone table is here in the attribute table for the point data and if we open up the properties of this layer and look at the source information and expand on spatial reference we can see indeed that it's uh, it's in the coordinate system that I had selected the National Spatial Reference System 2007